prezygotic barriers, barriers that prevent mating or fertilization. The first type of isolation is habitat isolation. It's where two species that live in different habitats in the same area that are not separated by physical barriers. The second type of isolation is temporal isolation. The species breed during different times of the day, seasons, or years and cannot mix their gametes. This panda is searching for a mate during the day, while this panda searches for a mate during the night. The third type of isolation is behavioral isolation. The courtship rituals that attract mates are different, even between closely related species. This panda flaps its arms wildly to attract a mate. This panda attracts mates by laughing. <laughs> Mate recognition has failed. The fourth type of isolation is mechanical isolation. Mating is attempted, but the structural differences prevent its successful completion. The shells of the two species of snails spiral in different directions, so the genital openings are not aligned and mating is impossible. I'm so depressed! The fifth type of isolation is gametic isolation. Sperm of one species are not able to fertilize the eggs of another. These sea urchins release their sperm and eggs into the water where they fuse to make zygotes. These gametes are unable to fuse because the proteins on the surfaces of the eggs and the sperm cannot bind to each other. I'm so depressed! These are the five different types of prezygotic barriers that prevent mating or fertilization.